This sucks, I have to be out this damn old Holland, man. I don't know how I'm gonna follow that up. Uh, pretty much you all know me. I've been a picture with Street Life for, we're working on 10 years now. I don't know how to put this any other way, and I didn't write anything down, so we're just gonna go with what Kev thinks. And sorry. <laughs> but uh, I gotta tell you, 12 years ago, I was a living, breathing, walking piece of crap. That's what I was. And, and people were picking up the kids to get them away from me. I was toxic as hell. Just garbage. And uh, then I, I learned about street life. And it took a while, because I don't fall for nothing right away. I just don't. But uh, so I started out first giving David the finger all the time. <laughs> and, uh, you know, but it started to get a little better after that. <laughs> and uh, there finally came a time where he said to me, Kevin, I want you to bring everybody you know to street life. I dare you. I'm not one that takes a dare like you guys. <laughs> if you look at me, you kind of got to know, right? <laughs> so that, that, that Monday, it was a Monday, uh, I had told everybody, I had done all my politics, and man, I went to... to St. Anthony's, I was all over the streets, I was telling every just show up on Monday night, I'm trying to make a point. <laughs> so Monday came, boy did I make my point. It's 120 plus people showed up just to be. So here's the part that's really cool, because uh, up until then I had bought into this whole Jesus thing. I, I really had, I was a, a card carrying member of the Church of Satan, to be honest. And, uh, so that night we're feeding people, and we're feeding people, and we're feeding people. You get the idea, right? Then they're coming back up for seconds and thirds. There's no way there was enough food for that that night. Okay, back then we were living hand of mouth, man. I mean, it, it's, there's no way we had enough food, guys. And yet we fed everybody not just once, but twice. Wow. And I am convinced, and I'll say it in front of this whole group, that I witnessed a miracle that night. <laughs> isn't a bunch of BS, guys. This is for real. We're out there trying to save lives, and it's time that everybody mans up and helps us. It's for real. Sorry, women's up, whatever you want. Okay? I ain't saying cowboy because I just think that's weak. But what I'm saying is, this is the real deal, guys, and we need your help. I've been in Redwood City my entire life, and when I needed help, there's always been somebody, because this is Redwood friggin' City, <laughs> right? And that's how we do with people. That's just how we do. Whether you know me or not, it doesn't matter. You still do it. And that's important here, guys. That's really important, because the people out on the street feel like they're disappearing, okay? You walk over them because they're sleeping on the street, or you look at them and think, my God, that's disgusting, whatever the man's doing or woman's doing, you know, we got to stay equal, right? Uh, there, there's, there's no way to really adequately describe what goes through a homeless person's mind, okay? But I used to be a homeless person. And in my mind, I find this right here and right now to be one of the most incredible things I've ever witnessed in my life. Come on, man. Yeah. All right? Come on. Y'all are here to help. Come on. That's because we're all Redwood City. Come on. Man. That's what we do here, guys. It's what we do. We it's our thing. It's how we do. It's what we do. And we're good at it. That's right. All right? We're asking for your help. If you can't, like like the police chief said, please dig deep, do what you can, because we can use the help. The more help we get, the more people we can help. We're not making money on this, you know? I mean, I'd love to come up here and have one of these things and just have the money go to my house. <laughs> but that ain't gonna happen, right? I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say, and I, I really hope that you understand I mean it as respectfully as possible. And I've done my best not to say the F word, Dan. <laughs>